Australian filmmaker and radio show host Max Egan from thecrowhouse.com, regular contributor to Truth Frequency as well, is joining us for the remainder of the hour. We've got a few callers on the line, too. We'll take some calls, 866-841-1065 with Max. If you guys want to get in touch, have anything on your mind. But, Max, welcome to the show. Hi, Chris. Thanks for having me on. Hi, Sherry. Oh, it's always a pleasure. Definitely. Before the break, we had a caller on the line. I'll bring him back on here in a second. But we were talking about chemtrails. What exactly are chemtrails? What are they spraying in the sky? And um, the fact that they're making us sick. And the caller is also in Colorado, where we're from. And he pointed out to the same thing that we did, that they're spraying at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning here, which is something that I've never seen anywhere else. Maybe in other parts of the world it exists, but not in the places that I've been. So let me bring the caller back on, and then maybe you can elaborate a little bit, because I just came up with my hypothesis. It's either to block out radiation from the sun, or it's to spray pharmaceuticals into the sky so we're forced to breathe them. I, it, nobody really knows for sure, I think. But let's go back to Matthew in Colorado. Matthew, did you want to finish up the thought? Yeah, hi. Uh, hi, Chris. Uh, Shri, hi, Max. Hey, uh, how are you? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's great to be on the show. Um, yeah, this is the biggest issue for me, you know, being out here in, like, rural Colorado, um, you know, in the mountains, and I just notice this every, almost every day. And I'm wondering your, your opinions just on, you know, what's happening, um, you know, ba mainly, like, the psychological sort of effects of it. I just noticed with um, the construction guys I work with every day, like, when they're chemtrailing, it just seems like they're more, like, downtrodden, you know. They're more just kind of out of touch. And um, and it, my girlfriend is really sensitive, too, and lately, you know, she's been feeling, uh, you know, kind of the effects of some kind of external energy. Um, and I have, too, and I've been noticing more of those so-called um, harp clouds in the sky uh, with, like, the ripples. and. Um, well, we have uh, some really weird clouds. I don't know if you've ever seen this, Matthew. I'm sure you have. But they're just these yeah. streaks of clouds that are, uh, I mean, they don't look like chemtrails. They don't look like anything. They just look like some kind of fireball that's gone through the sky, but it doesn't connect from, right. from, from ground up. It's just kind of sitting there in the middle of the sky. Right, right. Yeah, and there's some, there's some crazy stuff on YouTube I've been seeing of these spiral phenomena, these spiral portals and uh, all over the world and uh, yeah, I'm just, you know, it's just like the biggest thing. I mean, I do my best to stay in the love and the light every day, you know. And and I'm all about, like, trying to find just solutions and just waking up and just being an observer and encouraging my community to just observe what's, what's going on here. And, well, I, um, I can second that, that I, I get in a bad mood when they're spraying really heavy. And maybe yeah. it's, you know, maybe it's something that they're spraying or maybe it's just the fact that we can't breathe right yeah, and, and it's making us feel horrible. And it so therefore, us feel agitated. Right, exactly. Max, any thoughts on that? Look, chemtrails is, uh, it's a really, really huge issue. I'm actually, uh, I've had the last month off the show working on the new film and a big section of the film is actually about chemtrails and what they're actually mm. doing with chemtrails. Um, it, it's a very, very sensitive issue, and unfortunately, if people knew the real truth about chemtrails, it, it, it might completely freak them out, but I've right. been thoroughly investigating it, and I think it's really important to bring solutions to people when you deliver problems to them, but the chemtrails, I mean, the, the whole, you, you've really got to step back and look at the whole world holistically, it's all, it all fits in once you once you can view it all and put it all on the same stage and realize that everything's interconnected. And chemtrails are a mm. delivery system for all sorts of things. But one of the big things they seem to be delivering is nanoparticulates. And that's what these clouds are, these really, really strange clouds. And that's why they can spray a little tiny chemtrail and it expands into a massive cloud bank because these are self-replicating okay. nanoparticulates. And they're programmable, oh. and they're programmable. They're in everything. They're actually getting into everything, all the soil, all the rocks, all the water, all the plants, everybody. And they actually they're programmable. These clouds you'll find are, are steerable as well. They can steer them with harp. They're, you know, you release all of these molecular self-replicating nanoparticulates that are that are only of the size of a molecule. And once they are, they're all together in the air, you can kind of, they create almost like a hive mind sort of thing. It's like a, a swarm of nanoparticulates. And, and that's, it's in everything. It's a pretty serious problem.